Welcome to the eBay webinar tonight. My name is Mike Wood. I'm going to be your presenter uh, for tonight. And uh, no, we are not going to be talking about lingerie. Well, not strictly. <laughs> but uh, I, uh, I want to discuss today some, uh, some uh, opportunities that uh, are actually quite uh, exciting with uh, thrift store finds. Now, uh, in my series of webinars, I talk a lot about uh, uh, surplus items, uh, liquidation items, and uh, other creative uh, finds that are available out there. And uh, oftentimes, something that people overlook is uh, thrift stores, yard sales, and garage sales, and, and uh, things like that. And so, I want to talk a little bit about some of those uh, opportunities and, and possibilities. And uh, one that came to mind was from a, a student of mine that uh, um, told me about vintage nightgowns uh, that uh, she had sold. And uh, this was uh, uh, some time ago. But uh, so I've done a search here for that to just uh, uh, show some some possibilities there. So. Uh, and uh, there we go. So here's uh, one example, a, a vintage uh, lace nightgown um, that sold for $25. Now let me give you a little backstory so you understand what, uh, why I'm uh, bringing this up and, and uh, where the idea comes from. Uh, this uh, a student of mine that I was teaching was uh, fairly aggressive and really wanted to make this work. And so uh, she was doing a, uh, as much research as she could not just with our program and what I was teaching, but uh, reading articles and looking at uh, the eBay forum and, and uh, uh, other resources like that. Well, as she was out looking at all of this, uh, she came across an article about vintage nightgowns being a great item to sell on eBay. Now, it happened to be just before Halloween. That may have uh, been something that had a boost on it, but as you can see here, we have vintage nightgowns uh, listed and selling even right now as well, and we're nowhere near Halloween. So that's obviously not the only time of year that this type of item is going to sell. So anyway, she, uh, she was telling me about this story, and she happened to have a vintage nightgown in her basement in uh, storage. And so that was the first thing she thought of as uh, she was reading this article is, oh, I think I've got some of those. And uh, she went down in the, to the storage boxes, uh, old clothing that she had in her basement, and pulled out this nightgown and listed it on eBay. And sure enough, it sold. And I think she made 20 or 30 bucks on it. And that kind of got her excited. And uh, then she thought, where can I get another of these items? And that's where thrift stores came into mind. And so she went into a, a local Goodwill or thrift store in her area and looked around for vintage nightgowns. And sure enough, they happened to have some hanging on the racks there. She picked one up for $25 and another for 50, or sorry, not $25, 25 cents. <laughs> 25 cents and another for 50 cents. So 75 cents spent, 75 cents invested in her business. And I came home and took some pictures of them, listed them up there on uh, eBay. And one of them sold, uh, I believe, between $25 to $30, and the other one sold for over $40. So that was an item that, uh, for her, worked really well, and uh, it uh, it made her some money. You know, she sold the one that she had. She sold uh, um, two that she picked up from thrift stores that she was uh, willing to go out and look at. And so, uh, you know, there's uh, one item that uh, can be a great uh, potential seller. Uh, and uh, depending on you know how elaborate it is, uh, you've got uh, different prices that might uh, occur. Now, as we look at these, uh, let's look at this one for example. You notice this was listed as a buy it now. And something else I want you to notice is there's no indication of price um, for shipping. There's no shipping cost listed here. Um, it doesn't say free shipping like this one right up here. And so that means there was a shipping cost on that. Well, we can see what the shipping cost was by clicking on the item. We come in here and uh, they charged a reasonable $3 shipping on that. So $28 total for the sale price on that. Now, for me, the way I do my listings, I would probably put that as a uh, free shipping item um, because that's generally how I do things is I'll just, uh, you know, I'd rather list that as, uh, a $28 item or $27 and include the shipping in it, okay? So 
and then let's go down and, and look at this one. Now this one was done as a uh, as a bid, and uh, they've got uh, 13 bids on that, and went up to 179.99. And if I saw that right, I think they uh, did free shipping on that one. Okay. If we go in and look at the the bid history, we can see what the the history of that was. Uh, it actually started at uh, at 79. Uh, um, it looks like uh, that's a, an odd history. Usually there will be more details on it um, on there. And I don't know if this person uh, decided to uh, to increase their bid uh, at some point or or what happened there. But normally you'll see different uh, prices there. So um, the picture uh, apparently was taken with a, uh, some kind of a, a black uh, material in the background or something um, with lighting, uh, uh, li uh, lighting up the item. They have a, a mannequin piece there and uh, probably have a string attached to these corners pulling it out so that you can really see the item. So they've displayed it very well. Now, that's... You know that's great if you can do a good image like that. Uh, any uh, anything you can do to make the image stand out is going to be helpful. Uh, but as you can see, we had others that sold. Uh, you know, here's one that that sold that was just hanging up uh, in front of a window. Now that does uh, show how sheer it is, shows the light through it. But uh, ultimately, this approach would be better because it's going to give you a better focus on the item and, and the colors of the item rather than having it backlit and having a uh, high light behind it. Um, so I, I would do something where you don't have so much light uh, behind it there. Um, here's another one and again they've uh, they've pulled the, the corners out to really show that there and uh, um, and that one had a buy it now price, but it looks like somebody bid on it at the starting bid price at $16.99 and sold it. Now, again, not a huge uh, price, but what if you were to pick that up for $0.50 cents at a thrift store? Now, what's your return on investment? Okay, so recognize the value there. That's uh, that's what I'm hoping you'll see is to to realize that there is some great value with this, uh, this type of approach. Okay. Uh, Let's uh, let's just scroll down and see if we see a few others uh, on there that have sold. There's another one that uh, that sold, and and notice the variation here too. Um, this one's just a long sleep, uh, you know, satin sleep shirt. It, it's uh, it's probably not um, all that vintage, honestly, uh, compared to some of these other items that uh, are listed here. Okay, but it's still sold and sold for some pretty good money. Now, one thing I was wondering, let's go in and look at one of these uh, individuals and see, uh, there you go. That's what I was uh, hoping for. This person, they focus on this. This is their niche. And so they've got a lot of uh, of this type of item listed, and it's not just the uh, uh, the nightgowns. They've got sundresses and the, the hippie gypsy. They've, they've got other clothing items, but... Uh, they do have uh, a lot of the nightgown items there. They recognize the value in that type of uh, uh, of an item, and uh, so it's something that they they probably look for. Okay. Now another curious thing I want you to notice here: this seller has 4,013 feedback. Okay, 4,013. Now they're not doing a huge amount right now, it looks like. And if we go and look at, they've only got 33 items listed. Uh, completed listings to show recent completed, 108 within the last two or three months probably. So they're not doing huge business, but this is probably a pretty good side business for them and they've got their niche. This is what they focus on, it's what works for them, okay? There are other things that we can find at thrift stores that might bring us uh, similar returns. And I want to go and do a, a little searching for, for some other items. How many of you remember VHS <laughs> videotapes, right? Um, let's do a, a search for VHS movies. And uh, we're, we got to look at all sellers. All right, so here we've got VHS movies. We'll look at the completed listings. 
and see what uh, what's selling. You know, here's a Leprechaun VHS that sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Charged $4.17 for shipping. And that just sold today for Buy It Now, okay? Uh, so what does that tell you? Well, it tells you that, uh, you know, first, somebody's probably thinking of that because of uh, uh, St. Patty's Day, right? And, and it's uh, the Leprechaun uh, idea is, uh, uh, is recently on their mind. But uh, that's an item that you could look for at a thrift store and expect to sell. And so we can scroll through this just looking to, to find, in fact, we don't ha even have to scroll through to find those that sold. We can go over here to sold listings. 75,313 items for VHS movies that have recently sold. And there you've got all the titles of movies that uh, are on VHS that people have, uh, have sold recently. And so that's an item that you can see uh, oftentimes at the thrift stores. And, uh, you know, with something like this, I think it's a good idea to, to get an idea of what is selling, research it a little bit, maybe write down some of these titles and then go and look to see if you can find the items. Uh, another option is if you are browsing at the thrift store, looking at the items, use your phone. If you've got the eBay app on your phone, that's huge for you. And that way you can research to find out right then and there, is this particular item selling on uh, on uh, eBay? Now I noticed something here, look at this, 1985 Thundercats. Right down here, Thundercats. So two that sold today, and uh, we can we could go in and do a little research on this for see how uh, definitive this is. VHS movies, Thunder, Thundercats 13 on recent sales. Okay, between January and, and uh, March, 13 items uh, that are Thundercats have sold. Okay, so if we go over and uh, change this to completed listings, so we're not just looking at uh, the sold items, there we can see that 18 completed with 13 of them selling. So all but five sold. Well, that's pretty good. So if we go look for that particular um, item, Thundercats, specifically, we've got something that uh, that we know is going to move. Okay. And again, those are selling for 10 bucks a piece. If they're selling for 10 bucks a piece and you can pick them up for a quarter a piece, hey, that's that's not too bad at all, right? How about some old Dawn of the Dead? I, I uh, understand that's fairly um, positive uh, or um, positive, uh, popular <laughs> right now, right? And so that might be a, an option that we could look for. See if we see any other common themes. Uh, there's a Godzilla. Um, there, um, Ivanhoe, the whole set didn't sell for a huge uh, amount. Disney, there you go. 10 Disney uh, VHS listings, right? Uh, we've got uh, uh, Barbie, uh, another Disney there. And that's uh, another one that I would look at is, you know, maybe do a search for Disney. I, I think you're pretty safe if you find a Disney uh, movie, it's, it's probably going to sell, even though it's just a VHS. Okay. Uh, exercise videos. Uh, exercise videos are an option there sometimes. And uh, that brings me to another one to, to look at. Um, let's, uh, let's do a search here for um, motivational speaker. All right. And here we've got uh, um, some different motivational speakers that uh, have sold. Now these are uh, um, this one here. If you tape, you know these are on cassette tape, right? Uh, audio cassette. Um, that one's. Uh, let's see. Uh, and you'll so you'll see cassette tapes. You'll see uh, videotapes, and you'll see uh, uh, CDs and even uh, DVDs sometimes of some of these uh, motivational speakers that are selling. Some of this is Saturday Night Live uh, as well uh, in there. But that's one that you can 
find sometimes that will that will work. And there you go, Zig Ziglar. Now that's a, a photo, actually. That's a signed photo that uh, that sold there. Um, MP3. I'm trying to see. Uh, I uh, I can't remember the name, recall the name, but there was a a name of a, a motivational speaker that uh, was well known. But all of his stuff is is uh, out of print. You can only get it in um, cassette uh, uh, tapes or or possibly uh, CDs. Uh, but if we look at uh, some of how how some of these are. Uh, motivational speaker CD. Uh, I think that's how most of these are coming up is just uh, because of the motivational speaker. But that's another one that you can look for. And if you find something like that, then you can uh, uh, you can go in and and uh, research that on on eBay to see if if that particular one is uh, is selling. So and that's another one that I saw. So uh, there you go, movies, uh, cassette tapes, motivational speakers, uh, uh, possibly uh, vintage nightgowns or other vintage clothes or, or shoes or, I mean, who knows, maybe a, a vintage briefcase, right? Let's check that out and see if, uh, if we have any vintage briefcases that uh, are selling. And there we go. You know, here's an item that you may be able to pick up at a, a thrift store for a few dollars or, or pennies, you know, maybe a quarter or two. Um, there's another one there. There's a, an old uh, uh, purse. Here's a, an actual briefcase uh, right there. So see, I mean, uh, the sky's the limit. There's so many options. And if you've ever been to a, to a thrift store, you may walk through that place and think, well, gosh, there's a bunch of junk on the, uh, the shelves here, you know? Well, one man's junk is another man's treasure. You've heard that, right? I don't know how much this one sold for because it was a, a best offer that was accepted, but look at that price tag. And uh, this one uh, looks like it's uh, a lot, perhaps. Uh, so, uh, but, and it may not be a, a true vintage item. It might be a um, a remake or something, but. But anyway, you can see there are some great uh, options and opportunities here. Look at that, you know, $69.99. And again, probably something that you could pick up for a few dollars at a yard sale, a garage sale, an estate sale, a flea market, or your thrift store or Goodwill. There are a lot of uh, options there, a lot of potential. So I, uh, um, a friend of mine that uh, does a lot of eBay and uh, uh, actually does uh, some coaching and has his uh, uh, his own uh, um, ebooks and and written you know uh, published books and and uh, stuff on the the topic of selling on eBay. Davis Spino. Uh, he was uh, telling us once when he was visiting that uh, he. He's just always looking, you know. He's always looking for an opportunity. He's always uh, uh, open uh, uh, to anything where he can make money. And uh, uh, there was uh, a point a few years back where there was uh, a temporary ban uh, on uh, some headache medication, and I, I can't recall what the name of the uh, uh, of the pills were. It wasn't Advil, uh, uh, but uh, anyway, they. Uh, they had this this ban on on this for some reason, you know, something that the uh, um, uh, federal drug administration or some government entity was doing, and and maybe it was a recall. But any anyway, all of a sudden, those items were pulled off of store shelves and they were no longer available. Well, for everybody who had uh, extreme headaches and and relied on that product for when this happened. They were in a panic trying to find these uh, these pills. Well, there was an article that talked about these being pulled from the shelves, and Dave's wife read it. And uh, you know, being in the industry and knowing that he would uh, find that uh, interesting, she forwarded it over to him, and and he looked at that and he thought, huh, I was at a flea market just last week and I saw a guy selling a whole bunch of these, uh, you know, for about three dollars a bottle. 
And he researched it and saw that they were selling on eBay and Amazon. Uh, I think they were going for over a hundred dollars per bottle. I mean, it was ridiculous because again, the demand all of a sudden spiked. They weren't available, right? Because he was on the lookout, he was always uh, looking for things because he had been out looking at flea markets and had seen that. And because his wife uh, forwarded that to him, he was in the right spot at the right time. Well, he went over to that flea market the next time it was running and saw the guy that had all of those and asked him, can you get more? And this gentleman, of course, didn't know what he was doing with him, right? And uh, yeah, I can, I can get more. I can have a, you know, how many do you want? I can have a hundred of them or something. I can't remember the, the numbers, but it was a lot. He bought everything that he had that day and went and listed them on uh, uh, Amazon. And uh, again, I think he uh, put some on eBay as well. Um, and then came back the next week to get more from the guy. Well, for a month or so while this was uh, going on, he had those listed at these uh, high prices that everybody was willing to pay. And he ended up making, I think it was over $20,000 in a month from these, uh, these sales. You never know when something like that might happen but you're going to be more ready for it if you're constantly looking for opportunities and if you if you open your mind to the possibilities and get out there and look around a little bit do some footwork be willing to to get out there and and stretch a bit and look for the opportunities i can't tell you how many different treasures i've found as i've worked my business this way and uh even uh, even just recently and this uh, uh, this is a little uh, off the topic of the uh, the thrift stores, but I just want to show you you know same kind of idea. And this is uh, uh, something that I recently picked up from liquidation or, or surplus that worked out real well for me. So let's go in and just show you a little bit here. Uh, and let's see if we can find a. Um, and that's one of them that I've shown, but this, uh, where is it? Uh, let me find the most recent right there. So this was uh, uh, just this past week, and uh, I found another item. Now, not too long ago, and I'll have to pull open my uh, eBay and show you. Not too long ago, I found an item there at the uh, auction that nobody was interested in. and you know, it's it's way uh, out of uh, out of style and out of uh, out of its uh, time, really. But it was uh, old flip phone cases um, for small cell phones, and uh, they were there one week, and I I saw them, but I didn't uh, you know didn't really think much about it. I didn't want to mess with them. They're they're old. I looked on eBay, they I didn't see any selling, but the next week they were still there. And I thought, okay, well, I can, you know, I'll put a $5 bid on this box of 200 of these cases, see what happens. And uh, sure enough, uh, nobody else was interested in them. Nobody else wanted them because they didn't see them selling. And so uh, I ended up with this uh, box of phone cases. And here's one of them right there. So I've got hundreds of these. Uh, I Well, I think I've got maybe a little over 100 uh, of uh uh, of these cases that I got for five dollars. Well, this particular one sold for five seventy-five, uh, and uh, right down here, there's another one that sold for five seventy-five. Here's another one, different style, two of them. They bought two for nine dollars, and I've sold uh, so many of these. Here's another one for five dollars. Okay, so you know, a couple of those sold, and and I paid for the whole lot. Everything after that now is just profit, and so many of my items are like that. Uh, here's a little cell phone case that I've got that uh, that sells the same kind of way, uh, you know, with the, uh, where it was a cheap purchase and and uh, selling over and over. Well, so this week I saw these sitting there, and uh, their title on it uh, they just said box of leather straps with key ring. It's all the the details they gave us, and you know I don't know what it is, right? And I thought, all right, well it's some kind of holster, sure I'll I'll pick it up. I did okay with the cell phone, so I put a bid at $6 for that whole box. I've got uh, 330, 330, 333 of those. 
and just listed them uh, up there. As I was researching on eBay, I found the, the item listed out there uh, or something similar to this that was a, uh, uh, what is it, uh, pepper spray, a uh, pepper spray uh, holster. <laughs> And uh, I looked at, at the holster that I had in my hand and looked at the picture on eBay and thought, that's what it is. This is a pepper spray holster. And so I went ahead and listed it up there. Well, after I listed it, now I've uh, I realized, hey, there are other other ways that we might sell that. One, and just a, a side note on this other, uh, these uh, little flip phone cases, um, I have them listed as uh, flip phone slash tool slash, uh, or not slash, but comma, you know, tool case, um, holster. So people who are looking for a general tool holster or something like that, well, they might find it and be interested in it. And so I, I thought, uh, you know, that's what I'll do for this one. Well, I had another thought here. And so this, again, this is something that I picked up because I was looking, I was always, uh, you know, I, I'm always open to it and, and wondering, uh, can I make money with that? Uh, and and so it's, uh, you know, it was something that came up. So uh, so another uh, thought I had was flashlight. And so I'm going to put that in the uh, in the title here, you know, a flashlight uh, holder, uh, mace, pepper spray, keychain, holster, case, flashlight, tool, faux leather. Um, what if I put in there, uh, I don't know if I'll have enough room for this. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough room. So, um, but if somebody's looking for a, a little uh, tool case for a, a flashlight or a holster for a flashlight, my listing is going to come up. And so now I've got uh, not only uh, uh, an opportunity to sell this as a mace uh, case or holster, but possibly a, a, a tool, general tool holster a uh, flashlight uh, holder, uh, and I could list it multiple times. You know, if I wanted to go in there and say, okay, I'm gonna sell a similar item. In fact, let's do that, just so you can see the options here. You know, maybe somebody is looking at this uh, totally different. Uh, maybe they want uh, just a, a flashlight uh, um, type uh, holster. And so let's take that and we just do a different listing. And uh, I've got it listed as a two in that in that one listing, but we're going to just change this. We're going to do flashlight, tool, full leather, mace, pepper spray, keychain, holster, case. Uh, we'll put it in that way. And I've removed the uh, um, the police, the word police. Um, well, what if? Uh, uh, you know, keychain, I don't know that they're going to look for that. Why don't we put in uh, pocket knife? So we'll put that on there. Um, holster, sheath. And we can put in all of these different words to make this work. Now, since I've changed that there, I'm going to come into my uh, details here and change it in my title in there as well. I just have to find it in the uh, code since that's all they're giving me uh, here. We change it in there so it's all uniform now. And then we see which one sells. I've got them listed in two different ways. Okay. And for me, it's not a big deal. If this item doesn't sell in a, a month or two, all right, fine, I'll take it to Goodwill. Let somebody else try it. Maybe they can take that to a flea market and uh, sell it there and they'll make money with it, right? But I have a, a feeling that that's going to, uh, that it's going to move. It's going to be something that will sell. So again, thrift stores, Goodwill, vintage nightgowns, uh, tool cases, uh, whatever, I mean, briefcases, right? There's so many opportunities. Don't see it just as junk. Look at every item there. VHS movies, cassette tapes, old CDs. Look at every item as a potential item that, that can sell. Research it. If it looks like it'll sell and you can pick it up for pennies, pick it up. Put it up there. 
this is a great way to to begin on eBay to kind of boost uh, and build up a little bit of uh, of money. And for some of you, it may be something that you'll enjoy doing long term. It might be something that uh, uh, that you look at and decide, you know, I like yard sales. I like looking at through junk. I like estate sales. I like thrift stores. And if you do great, more power to you. Let's get out there and and see what you can do with it. So a lot of potential there. There really, uh, there really is a, a lot of uh, a lot of treasure in uh, other man's junk or garbage. So be willing to look and research. Uh, you will find some great things if you get out there and uh, do some work looking for it. Well, thank you for joining the uh, the webinar tonight. Um, I hope that uh, you know. I wish you luck in all that you do with your business, and hope that you will take some of these uh, strategies that I've posted here and, and put them into action.